So you guys want to clean your wood fire grill? Well, let's get into it. No fancy B-roll today. We're just going to get down on this thing and I'm going to show you how we clean it. I'm going to give you the tools I use and for everything I'm using, I will put links down below in the video description. Okay guys. So really simple, just going through how I clean it. Now, one thing you have to remember is that it's a barbecue grill. Pretty much everybody is obsessed with how they clean their indoor grills. And I get that because you don't want any uh, smoke in your house. You don't want stuff to burn up in there, but with the wood fire outdoor grill, it is an outdoor grill. So I treat it like my other outdoor grills. I let it get a little dirty in there. I let the uh, the buildup happen. I don't clean it as much as my indoor grills or, or my air fryers for that matter, okay? Everybody take a step back, take a deep breath and just relax that it's an outdoor grill and you don't have, you gotta switch that mindset on how you're, how you're used to dealing with your foodie grills, okay? That's, that's the first, first bit of advice right there for you. Okay. The first thing I did was we were in the house and I'll just show you how I clean my grill grate. Now that is something I do clean after every cook, just because it's nonstick, it's easy to do. And uh, I use the brush that's included with the grill grates and I use a sponge. If I happen to cook something on there that was a little bit too uh, sticky and got a little burnt on there, I will let it soak with some Dawn Power Wash. Let it soak in the sink and just kind of let it kind of rehydrate some of that burnt stuff, but makes it a little easier to scrape off, okay? So that's nothing too crazy. All right, y'all used to that. Now we're outside. We're gonna go ahead and uncover our wood fire grill. Now that is the one thing you could do to keep the outside of it completely clean, and that's get the wood fire grill cover. Uh, it's about 20 bucks on their website. I'll put a link down below for it. If you're gonna leave your wood fire grill outside, which I do, I actually both my wood fire grills sit on my workbenches out here along my uh, barbecue boulevard as uh, the dog father's barbecue calls it, my outdoor barbecue space, I leave them outdoors. Now we don't get tons of weather out here in Southern California, but guys, it snowed yesterday. I'll, I'll put it over there. Guys, it's snowing again. This is so weird. <laughs> actually snowed it wasn't enough to stick where i'm at but the mountains over there are covered and uh it's been crazy around here i'm getting a little bit of weather in california which is throwing me off all like to all get out anyway i'm kind of over talking it but you get the point cover your grill all right so the best thing you can do save that investment okay next thing we're gonna get yourself a couple things now i have some grill and smoker degreaser here cleaner okay this is from a competitor so i'm not going to show off the label but i'll put a link down below for uh degreaser and barbecue cleaner okay got the old scrub daddy gr uh scrubbing pad thing and then i got my trusty metal toothbrush don't use it on your mouth it'll hurt anyway this is for kind of cleaning where the pellets are at okay got a couple shop rags here too bowl of warm water let's go ahead and get into the the cleaning of this and you can see what i'm talking about okay again take a step back and relax that it is an outdoor grill you're not going to get it as clean as you want it to this is just a maintenance type thing okay so just relax and if you read something different in the instructions or you see joe blow uh say you could do it this way or that way or whatever guys this is the way i do it take it for what it's worth i am not really worried how anybody else does it okay you can't really see how i do it that's what we got. All right, come on down here. Okay, team, let's go ahead and take off this cover. We have our wood fire grill here. Outside's pretty clean, right? Because we have it covered, like I said. Our grill plate's clean because I just showed you how we clean that. So we're gonna go ahead and take this off. Now what we have here is the inside of the grill plate where the heating element is. We're gonna go ahead and get some cleaning done in there. There's some you know, dark spots here, a little grease got through there, little bits. Go ahead and scrub that off. We'll use our little scrub daddy, our little gre degreaser. Now when it comes to getting up in there, I'm gonna have to turn the unit around probably, a little upside down just to make it a little easier for filming. You can see there's plenty of residue in there. I let this get pretty dirty just for the video. But yeah, we're just gonna get in there and we're not gonna unscrew this. Again, we are doing this as maintenance. We're not trying to totally take this thing apart. We're just trying to take off the heavy duty bits in there. And again, do not stress, it is an outdoor grill, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna concentrate on is getting in here. I have the grease trap still in the back on. We'll go over that in a minute. Let's go ahead and start getting this clean in here. We're gonna spray it down with the degreaser. Again, this is a competitor, so I'm not gonna show the label but this is the only degreaser I had and I don't think Ninja has one yet. So I'm gonna let that hit for a minute. 
I've let my uh, scrub daddy brush get a little wet. Okay. And we're just gonna get in there with our scrub daddy. We're getting around the heating element, okay? And again, if you're not getting all this, the world is not gonna come to an end. I am not taking this apart. But well, you can see all the superficial grease on the outside right here. It's real, it's picking up real good with this scrub daddy. And you're just getting in between everything. While I'm working on scrubbing up in this part right here, and again, we're just getting that superficial bits off there. There's gonna be some stuff that's kind of burnt on. Again, do not stress about it. But while I'm messing with that, it's gonna take a hot minute. We're gonna start spraying the inside of the lid just so it starts working its magic in there. Let that start cutting the grease, and we'll get up in there when we're done with the this part right down there with the heating element. So we got most of the soap out of there, those bits out. We're just using a little bit of water to help drain it, get the soap out of there. Again, you're not gonna get these things completely, you know, the, the burn marks over here. Just is what it is. And then it's draining into the back here. I'm just gonna take a, just one of those blue shop towels, just dry up any spots you got in the back here. And it will continue to dry and probably get wet again while we're cleaning the inside up here. But you know, you're just trying to go through the process. Okay. You can see the greases are kind of already dipping down over here. Not perfect, but get us where we need to be. Now let's work on the back end while we're still letting this kind of cut the grease on the inside. I'll show you what I'm talking about with the grease trap. Now when dealing with the grease trap in the back here, I would highly suggest you get some of these tin foil inserts. Okay. So right back here is like grease trap and it's easy for me to take these little inserts out when they're not completely full of water. Now there's still a little bit of grease in there, but now I can take this inside and wash it out and we'll get another insert in there. So this is washed off. I just took it in the house. Same process as with the grill. Take a little bit of hot water soap, get that insert back in there. Now I left the rag in here because it's dripping down from uh, uh, the grease, the greaser in there. So I'm gonna take this, slide it in there. Now it'll catch all the junk. Well, let's get to cleaning the inside. Let's get into the inside. I'm gonna spray it down one more time with the degreaser. And I'm gonna do this kind of front part right here where I can see with the camera. But the rest of it I'll do off camera just because I don't feel like finagling this. But we're just taking this scrub daddy and just getting all the good stuff off, okay? You can see it's taking off the grease in there. Be careful, this little fan edge is sharp. So you're just getting in there getting it done nice. And all the grease is dripping down to the grease tray. Again, nice barbecue clean, if you will, in there. Now we're gonna get up on this, this part right here. It is not gonna come squeaky clean. You're not gonna see the silver in there. I mean, I guess you can if you really wanna spend a lot of time on it. You can see that we got a lot of it off right here. And I'll do the whole, whole thing around. All right, y'all, it'll be a lot easier for me to clean this without being on camera. So this is where we're at so far. Come on back. We'll get it as clean as we can get it. Again, we are not trying to like get this factory showroom clean. So let me get the cleaning. I'll catch you back in a sec. Team, we're done with the internal cleaning. We got the grill plate heating element as clean as we could get it. Someone's drilling something in the background. I'm sorry you can hear that. We got it getting scrubbed. We got the inside. It's about as good as we can do. I gave it a pretty good scrub down. So the next thing we're gonna go after is finish up on the outside over here. Let's turn this bad boy. We got our pellet box right here. So you can see we got some buildup in here, got some buildup on the top, and then we got our pellet hopper here. So we're gonna dump out that pellet hopper. I'm gonna take our handy dandy toothbrush here and just scrape as much as we can out of the buildup in there. Okay. Okay. A little bit's on the outside, go ahead and scrape it off. Okay, set that to the side. Now we're gonna pop this side open and just get in there and scrape away. It is gonna make a little bit of a mess. You gotta do a little elbow grease in there. Okay. 
to just get it in there, get that metal brush. You're just getting that build up out of there. Start working just on these grates right here. Well, I do have a little vacuum cleaner uh, Mr. CJ got for me. So we'll go ahead and uh, use that to kind of get in there as much as we can. Get all the mess on the outside. It's not perfect, but it helps for this little uh, little pellet grill. All right, now we we'll just get our pellet hopper back in there, shut it down, wipe up the mess underneath right here, and then we're good to go. All right, come on back. All right, y'all, we're done. Now, I did my best to kind of show you how I go through and do a clean on this. It is not a deep clean. If you want to do that, you can spend a little bit more time with that degreaser. It is just enough to kind of get you where you want to be, maintain it, keep it going, okay? You do not have to do everything I did. The last thing I do after I do a cleaning on it, I'll run it through an air crisp cycle, and give it a wipe down again, it'll help dry it out, flush out any of the bits that I didn't get wiped up. I'm not gonna do that right now. You guys know how to turn it on. Obviously you know how to wipe it down, so that's it. But if you guys do anything to your cleaning regimen for your wood fire grill that I've missed, go ahead and throw it in the comments down below. You know, I appreciate any tips I can get to. If you want to get yourself any of the stuff I used in this video to clean the wood fire, including the wood fire grill, right? Links are all down below. Check them out. All affiliate links, but you don't pay anything extra and it helps out the channel, right? Right. If you want to become a show producer like all these awesome people before me that are scrolling, that are looking at me going, I'm glad it's you cleaning it and not me, hit that join button right next to the subscribe button, which you should have already hit by now. But other than that, guys, we're done. Listen, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Happy barbecuing. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.